Hey guys, Joel here back with our new series of The Hunting of Bly Manor. So, we've been introduced to the main cast, in effect. Um, this American nanny, who's decided to take on the job that apparently has been advertised for months and months and no one wants. Um, the uncle is the usual British stiff upper lip, don't bother me unless it's an emergency. He doesn't want to have anything to do with them, so um, she's met the, the little boy, she met the little girl, who I'm going to have to get to grips with, with her accent. Um, there is definitely something haunting her before she even got here, because it showed us a couple of times. And there is some strange character who we saw on the balcony, who apparently wasn't there. And there's not an awful lot more than that has happened so far. Other than the fact that the two kids are still traumatised, obviously with everything that's happened to them and losing their parents, and then losing their previous nanny, who by the sounds of things just committed suicide. Um, and it was the little girl who found her. So we're going to carry on and let it tell us a bit more of the story. We have an, a narrator in this as well, which is different these days uh you don't get that in a series very often so let's carry on this is episode two the door got stuck no it didn't it was stuck and we couldn't get it open honest and the mess in the hall it's just a bit of mud <laughs> it's just a bit of mud mm. <laughs> i like it <laughs> well i forgive you Something to do with that uh, Miles, I just smoked that bit. That was entirely unacceptable, and now you are going to finish mopping. But that's not fair. Yeah. It's just a bit of mud. I'll just be a sec. Somebody's brother threw their doll down the laundry chute. Oh, mm -hmm. of course. Thank you. That's a laundry chute? Mm. I thought it was garbage disposal. How is it stood up? I think this is the thing that's making the footprints, just not that version of it. Look who I found. What's her name? She can't remember. Are you gonna hang it in your room? For protection? No, I took it down. Why? Because it doesn't work. Jesus cast the demons, known as Legion, in Luke and Mark, unnamed in Matthew, out of a single man, according to Luke and Mark, two men, according to Matthew, into, and on this, they all agree, a herd of pigs. Why do the Gospel accounts differ? Well... Because it's made up. Because man is fallible. Even the men who wrote these Gospels. We are, all of us, free to make our own choices. It's one of the most important gifts that God has given us. The headmaster passed this on to me this morning. It's not often that a, a student gets any post on the first day. And judging by the writing on the envelope, I assume oh, it's from you. But the trouble began, as trouble often does, with an accident, or so it would be called. Wingrave! Wingrave! Why'd you do it? Yeah, why? Do you want? Why'd you jump? Just looking for the right key. What was that? I didn't jump. I fell. Hey, hey, break it up! Break, break it up! Wow! Break, break. He knows how to do that. So you started it. Had he wronged you in some way? Said something to you? Somebody to set you off. I want to help you, but I need you to help me to understand this. And not only me, Hooper's parents. And I've made it clear that your well-being is my responsibility and priority. We all do terrible things sometimes. That's expected. It's, it's baked into us from the start. And it wasn't fair, was it? Oh, well. What Jesus did to the pigs. 
in the demon story. Oh. Master Wingrave. I have a mind to expel you, young man. I truly have. And Annabel is dead because of you, Wingrave. I'm not sure it is. That doesn't mean gone. What did you say? And so, the reason for Miles' expulsion was difficult to pin down. He was expelled, it turned out, for an injury. Only the letter from Flora, delivered when he arrived, forgotten in the dormitory, would offer a possible clue as to why he tried so, so hard to be sent home. Oh, I always forgot. Um, in the kitchen, there's a crack in the ceiling. Would you mind popping in later to have a look? Where exactly? Uh, by the stove, high up towards the ceiling. You, you can't miss it. I, I found these two. I didn't break them. I promise. They were like this already. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, a panic attack. She has an awfully nervous right. disposition for to have this job. Kids? When you're ragged. Yeah. Well, people really. All of them. <laughs> so I prefer plants. <laughs> uh, where are you off to? Heading back to the garden. What the hell is that? Why is it its eyes lit up? I think Flora just misses Miss Jessel terribly. So we play little games to keep her from feeling sad. Mm. It's such a draining thing. Dealing with children. What the fuck are you doing? Look, could we just go back to the bit where uh, you were acting mental and I had to talk you down? <laughs> <laughs> you did so well that as a reward, we can play a game. Hide and seek. Okay, hide and seek, sure. Is that all right with you, Miles? Please. Something's gonna happen here. But what I'm glad they're not done with this series, which they do in the live stuff these days, is that monotone, throbbing, deep bass note that they put in to try to make you be on edge. Something's gonna make me jump, isn't it? Do it. This wing is off limits, game or not. Okay? Boss. Okay, that's terrifying. Someone else in him. <sighs> oh, Nothing else gonna help. I'm gonna call the fucking police. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the fucking police! I swear to God, in the window. Same guy, same guy as yesterday. I'll, I'll open doors. You're okay. You're okay. He's away. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. Alright, that was episode two. The last ten minutes of that was nicely done. Like I said, uh, in commentary. There's there's too many horror films and spooky TV series, whatever you want to call it, where whenever they get to a point where they're trying to scare you. They put this stupid, monotone, seriously low frequency uh, bass note in that rumbles. You know, like how you get in um, 
a lot of movies and it's too it's too false and it's just there to put you on edge if you do it right you put your audience on edge without that and they just did that spectacularly because it was complete silence and you're just waiting for something and you never know when it's going to come because just giving you a jump scare is, is, is not enough that was done really well okay this kid is clearly traumatized and is having issues but there is a spirit of whoever that dude is either controlling him inside him sharing his consciousness whatever i knew there was something going on but i couldn't put my finger on it but the moment it showed that scene where i can't remember what he said to her but he said something completely inappropriate and he's touching her face and putting her hair behind her ear a small boy wouldn't do that that's something a grown man who's been in relationships who's been in love who's had women in his life or one love in his life would do and that's what he just did and i knew at that point that there's some other sort of spirit with this kid watching him over him controlling him i don't know um which is not helping our nanny at all because because she's not really dealing with whatever the hell it is is going on with her that she's brought with her obviously not purposely it's it's followed her here and this is going to send her nuts um, it's going to be surprised we don't end up with another dead one here um the woman uh i don't know her name yet but she doesn't seem to do much and the crack in the tiles that she saw that the gardener didn't see i'm not quite sure what the um resemblance behind that is meant to be yet that it's something that she sees that the other woman doesn't uh we find out why he was expelled which was <sighs> disturbing for a boy to do that but still again at that time even when he jumped out of that tree which he did he jumped out of the tree this this guy is is there with him and i think it's him that's d d doing this destructive uh, not self he's not self-harm or anything but a destructive behavior which in a small child at that age can be seen as signs of psychotic tendencies when they start destroying random things or start hurting animals or anything that is usually a sign of something sinister that's coming at a later age where they're just going to progress he's done it to get back to his sister because whatever that thing is she doesn't want to be tackling it and being here on her own with it um it's interesting uh, i mean there's not a vast amount happened in that episode other than the gardener now seeing that the nanny is dealing with her own issues and is not exactly 100 percent emotionally stable herself i don't think any of them are they all act you know this is supposed to be set in the 80s they're all acting like it's way 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 before then like 50 60 70 years before then because after watching the first series and there being a abundance of things it showed you purposely which seemed to have no frame of reference but also the absence of things that you just think oh well it's they've just not shown it they've just not put it in but it ended up having a meaning and there seems to be an absence of anything that says that this is even set in the 1980s just with how they are how they talk how they go about their business everything about the house everything around the house so i don't whether to take that as or the absence of all of that being there as something we're supposed to be picking up on guess we'll find out <laughs> 
Right, anyway, that was episode two. We'll be back for episode three next week. And so until then, guys, by all means, please post your comments down below. If you want to watch this in full length, it'll be over on Patreon. Link will be in the description. And I will see you for episode three of Blind Manor very soon. Until then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe, please, if you don't mind. And that way you will not miss any more episodes, uh, especially if you turn your notifications on. Right, see you for the next one. Take care. Duh.